So then, welcome back to the channel, everybody. And uh, I will just skip the intro today because I believe I have made serious progress in my phone collection or hoarding, if you would like to look at it that way. That is because I have managed to put my greasy little hands on this BlackBerry Bold 9900, the big daddy the last true blackberry at least in my mind and this will go nicely along the blackberry bold 9000 the first uh, bold in the series and with my rather entry level uh, curve 8520 of which i own two examples but can't seem to locate them now anyway this is the 9900 or 9900 bold and uh, well i'm not going to be spending too much time on the specs as you can find them online anyway uh, suffice it to say it's got a bright enough uh, lcd screen it's a tft unit at 2.8 inches with a vga resolution that's 600 by 480 pixels uh, and uh, a 4.3 aspect ratio. Uh, really what's impressive is the pixel density is 286, which is rather nice, but I'll show you the display in a second. It's got eight gigs of memory and 768 uh, megabytes of RAM, which is quite nice. Now, uh, these are just the specs alone and don't tell the whole story. This example is r looking rather rough uh, and sorry for itself. Uh, you can see chips on this uh, uh, on this uh, lower bezel here. The paint is starting to peel away and looks really greasy and sticky. It's not pleasant at all. This fake carbon fiber uh, removable panel on the back is looking rather uh, worn out but really at the price I paid for this thing which was actually honest to goodness three euros or 15 lei I'm not I'm not complaining so this is a fully functioning device but before we go on any further let me just zoom in and show you the inside of the blackberry 9900 bold series and there we go some writing and specs and here is the battery also which charges up quite nicely there you go so yeah this was a steal for me at three euros i would have Really, I would have been very sorry to pass this opportunity. So I'm just going to connect the battery in the device. I already placed a SIM card there, so it should boot up nicely. Let me just walk you through this particular example while it boots up. So some of the uh, silver accents have worn off between the keyboard, the keys, but construction, it's is still top-notch there is no squeaks rattles or um, any uh, flexing or uh, uh, bending issues look I can right now I'm really forcing the device and nothing bad is happening to it so if you go the route uh, of testing like uh, Zach from Jerry rig everything and you try to bend it it will handle enough stress still the materials uh, don't seem to be quite up par with the previous, the first Big Daddy, the 9000 bolt. Or maybe that's just because this example is uh, way worse for wear than this one. Anyway, we'll see what's what with the device once it gets going. Uh, I just wanted to mention that really blackberry by this time was feeling the pressure from established android um, smartphone manufacturers and they tried to mimic the design while keeping their own uh, um, you know their own uh, lineage and um, well design cues 
from previous uh, phones. So even though there's a classic keyboard here, uh, that center facing you, which is a peach to operate, uh, the, the device itself is rather flat, rather narrow. It's very rigid and feels like a solid block even though the battery is removable. Now let me just try to insert the pin and we'll go on with the review. Right, okay. So good news, the phone itself is not locked in any uh, network and it received the, um, the SIM tray. Now first thing I'm going to try is to actually call this device. I have placed a phone call right now. Okay, so it seems to be working just fine. Let me just try to test it. There's also a ni nice ringtone to it. Testing. Testing. Yeah, so the device itself um, is working quite nice. Uh, a lot of smudges though, um, that's rather annoying really, but I'm going to try to wipe it up off each time and try to present it as clean as possible, though this is nowhere near a pristine example. Now, what I like about this Blackberry is actually it has a touch screen. I don't know if this is the first Blackberry, the traditional uh, keyboard Blackberry uh, to have a touch screen. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's one of those uh, slider dealies I'll put in the model later on in the edit. But anyway, uh, it's a good uh, enough responsive unit and uh, well as I see the icon for the camera here let, I might as well just uh, try to uh, start the camera um, I thought that was the camera but it not so sure now no this is the camera okay so the photography now this I don't know, it's supposed to be a 5 megapixel LED flash uh, photo uh, unit, but really, yeah, the, the quality itself is rather lackluster. Um, sorry about that. I will try to edit um, the images you saw back there. Uh, this phone belonged to someone in the past. I got it off a of flea market. I don't want to invade anyone's privacy if they left their photos in the phone by mistake. So anyway, I will try to take a picture again and show you what this thing is capable of. Let me see if I can operate the touch, touch screen as a, uh, as, in order to capture a photo and avoid locking the screen in the process. Yeah, so uh, you can take a photo with a touch screen and I believe even with this central button here. No, yeah, actually you can. But there's no autofocus on this thing, uh, which is, um, I don't know, it was, it's kind of disappointed though. I am kind of disappointed though, uh, I see it's pretty well featured out with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1, GPS, Blackberry Maps, NFC, um, and other additional important options to have at the time of the launch. Because this is right now, uh, this is a 12 year old design and well, really it's it's not aged beautifully uh, i would say that uh, unless you are a big fan of this type of device which i am because right now i'm geeking out uh, honestly two years ago i would have gladly paid around 50 euros for a decent working unit maybe better looking than this one but i'm very pleased 
And uh, speaking of which, this brings me to the next point, what this thing should be worth. Now, and to my eyes, as a weird collector, you know, a geek collecting weird, quirky, obsolete tech uh, devices from um, 10 years ago, I would say that this type of phone should bring anywhere between 50 to 100 euros, depending on the condition it's in, maybe 30 to 40 euros if it's a rough one like this one, but anyway it's still worth some money but don't you know if you own one don't be greedy and don't get your hopes up don't be uh, overly optimistic on what you might get if you sell it because these were produced by the bucket load and there are plenty of options to go around now what i'm curious is whether this keyboard functions as a scroll of sorts, but I don't think it does. No, that was a feature for later models. So I'm not going to be insisting any much, uh, any more time on this device since I have other Blackberry reviews, which I will post here. Um, I just want to thank you for your um, views uh, and to remind you that I buy, hoard and collect weird, quirky and obsolete tech stuff like this BlackBerry 9900 Bold, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.